Deborah Gaffney performing a comedic monologue entitled The Ideal Husband by Oscar Wilde. Well, Tommy proposed to me again today. He does really nothing but propose to me. He proposed to me last night in the music room when I was quite unprotected. There was an elaborate trio going on and I didn't dare make the smallest repartee. I need hardly tell you. If I had, it would have stopped the music at once. Musical people are absurdly unreasonable. They're, they always want to be perfectly dumb at the moment when one is longing for them to be perfectly deaf. Then he proposed to me again in broad daylight in front of that dreadful Achilles statue. The things that go on in front of that work of art are extremely appalling. The police should really interfere. At lunch, I saw the glare in his eye again. He was going to propose, but I managed to check him in time by assuring him I was bimetallist. Fortunately, I don't know what bimetallist means, and I don't believe anyone else does either. If he proposed at the top of his voice, I wouldn't mind so much. That would produce some effect on the public. But he wants to be horribly confidential. He talks in a romantic tone, but like a doctor. Extremely confidential. I'm fond of Tommy. But his ways of proposing are horribly out of date. Gertrude, I wish you would talk to him. Tell him that once a week is quite often enough to propose to anyone and that it should always be done in a very public manner. Since you were born, I considered your behavior to be a disease, an infection of sorts. You would run up and down the grocery store aisles, opening oranges to see if the insides of one differed from the other. You cut open the belly of your pet hamster. Super dude. Doctor said, boys are curious. Not to worry. Not to worry. Bullshit. I knew.